Hi, I'm Bet from Bet's Makes, and today we're going to have a short lesson on how to line up objects. Now, this has been the biggest thing that a lot of people have trouble with. They'll duplicate and try to get them to match. Well, I'm going to show you an easy way in order to do that. So, in order to get started, let's open up Cricut Design Space and start a new project. So, here we are, fresh project. We're going to learn how to line things up. So I'm going to start with some shapes and we'll pick on a heart and I'll move it out of the way. And what other shapes do we want today? Let's pick on a star and perhaps a circle. Let's move it out of the way. One more shape. Uh, let's go for a hexagon today. Now one thing I want to do is I want to color them all different colors so they're easy to see when we go to do some lining. So I'm going to click on the circle. I'm going to make it pink. I'm going to click on the heart. I'm going to make it red. Click on the star. I'm going up to line type each time and I'm going to make it a yellow and let's click on our octagon and we're going to, oh let's make it green. So now we have some shapes that we're going to work with. Now the whole thing is we want to line things up perfectly. Now quite often you can't see. So for example, if I took this heart and I came up here above the layers panel and hit a duplicate, I'm going to change the color to a little darker color. And what I really want to do is I can spend time trying to line these things up, but it doesn't necessarily work. So I'm going to click over both of them. I'm going to come up here to the Align tool, not the Arrange, but the Align. So I'm going to line them centered horizontally and center vertically. Now the two of them are perfectly aligned. You can see one at the top, one at the bottom here. Now if I wanted them to stay together, I simply just group them and they will join together. Now there is one unit. I could click on the bottom heart and you'll see it still outlines it the same as the top. I would have to ungroup them to pull them apart. Now those are aligned perfectly. Now you can do that with any duplicated object. Now, the other thing about alignment, well, the star is in behind, but that's okay. We can see the little pieces sticking out. I want to make sure that these are aligned perfectly. So I come to align and I do horizontal, align, vertical. Now you'll notice something that the star comes down below and there's little pieces that stick out, but nothing sticks out the top. And that's because the centers are a little different for each one of them. So I'm going to move this circle to the back. So I'm going to click on a range up here on the toolbar and I'm going to send it to the back. And if you take a look, you will see that centering it up and down is not going to work as well as centering it across. Across is just fine because the center points of each one are aligned, but that doesn't mean that they're going to align perfectly. So all you need to do is click on the one you want to move and use your arrow key. And actually a little bit pokes out for each. If I do it one more time, it looks like a little bit too much. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. I will drag it just so I get a little bit poking out from each side. But I still want to make sure they are aligned on a horizontal basis. So I will select both of those and align them horizontally. Now that looks pretty good. I'm just going to group those together. Now what if you wanted to duplicate this item and have a double but have it over top? Not that you would want to, but what, what if? So let's duplicate it. Now there are groups, so this should be interesting. See how the two groups, you just select both of them. You've got both groups selected. Come over here to your align. I'm going to center them horizontally. And now I'm going to center them vertically. 
As you can see, once you've grouped and placed things together, as long as the center point is joined, you will have no problem. So we've got both those pieces. I'm going to group those together. So now we have two groups here without a problem of being aligned. So that is a couple of simple ways that you can do this, especially when you have an object that doesn't quite meet the same center point as the other ones. So for example, let's try one more. I'm going to use a square this time. This time I'm going to come down here to the unlock and if you come up here on the toolbar you'll also see sizing. There's a lock here you could have unlocked. But I'm going to grab the little handle here for sizing and I'm going to make it a stripe. You'll see that the width and the height changed and it's still unlocked. I am going to make a stripe here. I'm not going to leave it black. We're going to change it to blue. Make it a uh, light blue. Now that looks pretty good. I could come up here to the sizing to make it even. I could make this one inch just to make it easier. That looks pretty good. And this one is at 5.2. So let's make it 5. I'm going to lock it back. So now we have two shapes here. So let's take both of them. This time we're going to align them and we want to align them both horizontal. That looks pretty good. It did move and vertical because we want this stripe coming right through the center. I'm going to highlight both of them again and I am going to group them and now I can move them around. So that is a simple lesson on being able to take items and align them properly. So some shapes that don't match, some that do, and then some that have different sizes. Because the center point is where it's going to align, you have to be careful how you line anything up that you duplicate. So I really hope you enjoyed this lesson. Until next time, happy crafting.